I've said for a long time now that I am going to do a tutorial on how to set up your own lighting node and this has taken a lot of time and I still have not put up the video. Why is that? You're probably wondering. Well, partly is because I'm trying to run my own Bitcoin full node here at home and uh, before I actually set up my lightning node and uh, it's not uh, necessary you can contact you can uh, start a lightning node either way but I wanted to do it with my own Bitcoin node so I uh, tried to run a or I'm attempting to run a Bitcoin node on my uh, Synology NAS so I thought while I'm anyway in the process I can make this video so I can show other people how you can run a Bitcoin node on your Synology NAS probably it's not gonna uh, be an incredibly popular video because it's quite a small subject but since I'm anyway doing it I can at least show you how I did it and the problem why it has taken me so long is because the sync has taken forever and I don't know if it's because this is slow or because I'm doing something wrong but it, right now it looks like it's going to complete in uh, a couple of more days but it has taken way longer than I thought and I also stumbled upon some mistakes before I actually put this thing together so that is why it has taken such a long time but now I'm going to show you quickly how I actually set this up. It will only take a few minutes to get it running. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in doing this type of thing. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, get subscribed to the channel. Let's get into it. All right, so here I am signed into my Synology NAS. And unfortunately, it is in Swedish, so you'll have to bear with me. But uh, first you need to install Docker. And that is in the package center or whatever it's called in English. And you just search for Docker. You uh, install this little uh, whale here. It's a very famous. Uh, um, and uh, when you have that, you should open that up. Docker. Well, you could probably click it through the package manager as well. And when you have this here, I have my Bitcoin D running here already. It is right now syncing. And uh, first of all, you need to go to uh, register. You need to search for Bitcoin. And then you'll find this uh, Bitcoin D right here. Uh, and you can, um, let's see, you can check this out on uh, Docker's website and then also on GitHub. So you can actually take a look at the package. So here is the GitHub repository for that. And uh, then you could uh, study the code if you want. So if you're uh, very cautious with what you're installing, you should check out the code yourself. Uh, I am in no way recommending uh, uh, this package, nor do I am I affiliated with uh, this repository but seems to work fine work out fine for many people so if you want to download that you hit the download button up here in Swedish it's Ladanir so you click on Ladanir or download and uh, then you'll uh, go to images here I think it's called images um, and then you can start a uh, your image here and it will start a container for you and then you get to specify what uh, type of settings you want for it it's very easy just you can just go with the standard settings when all of that is done you get your bitcoin daemon right here and uh, if you want to you know uh, interact with it you click on information you can see uh, an overview here of what it's doing some uh, environmental variables you can see some ports but maybe the most interesting you can get your log files uh, well for some reason i don't have them but they were there before i don't know what happened you can find your log files and if your log files disappear for some odd reason like they did for me you can still check out the log in the terminal because it logs out all the things that would be logged out to a normal terminal if you run it on a normal computer that will uh, that will appear here so you can see now that my progress is at 77 percent and it is currently uh, syncing you can also create uh, a new shell here a bash shell and you can uh, you can uh, play around with it uh, all uh, on yourself on your own sorry not on yourself don't do that <laughs> all right and that is basically it. this is how you start it up it's very simple and uh, you might i don't know what type of nas you need in order to run this but uh, you should be able to do it with uh, most of the uh, synology nases out there all right that was it uh this was just a short video because i i'm still waiting for it to sync but in the meanwhile in in meanwhile it does that i can uh, at least upload something so um, i hope it was useful for some of you and uh, 
stay tuned for my lightning tutorial coming hopefully quite soon. Uh, you can also check out the um, academy that me and Ivan on Tech is running by clicking the link below. We are soon releasing our Bitcoin programming course. It's very exciting. I have actually uh, and been enjoying making these videos a lot. So make sure to check that out by clicking the link below. If you're not yet the student, I know many of you are already students there. Uh, and I appreciate every single one of you. If you did like this video, hit the thumbs up button, get subscribed to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.